ready to see which sail it is. Are you ready? Are you ready? That was, that was a hardcore shutdown when it decided to shut down. Are you ready to go adventure again? Yes! This is so exciting. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. I'll Who's responsible on. for my shoes? No, I got it. I got it, Mom. Carly's a little spider monkey. I need new shorts. You can borrow mine. No. Oh, yours are too big? You need smaller ones? No. Why don't you wear shoes? No. Because they hurt my... Well, I have a cut toe. Why? <laughs> Tell why, us. Because did I didn't wear shoes. shoes. So yeah, now, I, if I, I wear shoes, it hurts my toe. Okay. <laughs> It's a problem. See, it's a lose-lose situation. We had the dinghy anchored like three feet deep off of the park. They have a bunch of random pieces of concrete sunk all around. They have barnacles growed all over them. And Crystal wanted to go out to the dinghy to grab something. And I told her to take my shoes. And she thought she would be really cool and go without them. Until she stepped on a piece of concrete with barnacles. No bueno. I tried to save her. I tried. Yeah. Here's our boat yard. It's not a big old boat yard, but it's it's kind of, it's a nicer boat yard. I don't see too much wind, I don't think, right here in the boat yard. I hope we get that spot right there. Just a cool little spot, I think. I'm just taking apart this transmission here, this gearbox. This is just the flange piece. I don't know what it would be considered. That uh, helps the actual gearbox bolt to the bell housing, or what would be the bell housing, I guess, for the flux plate. All right, guys, so we got the hearth gearbox here. Did broke on us. Got it all finally pulled apart. And we come to find this bearing failed very badly also with this bearing. So anyway, what happens is these are your clutch plates in here. So you got reverse and you got forward. So what happens with the clutch and the shifter? This thing's on there. There's a little mechanism that drives this back and forth. That little hoof there grabs this thing and it shoves it evenly all the way down. Now we're in reverse. And now, when all these guys are working properly, the motor drives proper in reverse. All right, before you guys beat me up too bad in the comments, when you're trying to do projects like this on a small sailboat, which also happens to be your home, you do what you can with what you have. As you can see, this puller had no difficulty pulling this assembly apart off of this output shaft. And uh, hopefully the galvanized pipe and the rubber mallet have the same amount of non-difficulty pressing it back together. So, I've got these notches here for the puller to be able to get into. There's three of them. There's three arms in the puller. But this one is no longer there. Finally got the last one off. Show us, baby. These bastages. Tanner had to grind out. I use the Dremel. Or the Dremel, I guess. It's smooth where I can press on. And I can seal this gasketing side steel then. Now it's on. Shouldn't have a problem. Well, now it's off, but it's gonna be on. We're gonna put it all back together. Everything's ready to go to on one. It is. It's, a, it's ready to, to the on position now. Who's rocking now? All right, taking a break from the tranny. 
We just pulled one of the sails out of the Lazarette. So we're gonna pull it out and see what it looks like. Are you ready? You ready to see which sail it is? Are you ready? Are you ready? It's looking pretty good. Got it. Colors, yeah, the colors are really pretty. And it looks like it's in really good condition. So I'm excited. Got all the pieces off, got everything cleaned up, ready for reassembly. start with these guys since we already got this surface it's one of those and one of those and one of those I think you get the picture as far as that goes and we're gonna end on one of these and then the next piece is this guy look at that spit shine another round of greasing Look at our teamwork on moving. Well, we've got a lot of experience living shit together. Yeah. 14 years, baby. Yeah. Or you want me to live in Yeah, you need a more practice. Now this far, we got a little shim there. We got this little ring right here. Then we gotta clean these little doodads. My cleaning job. Go ahead. <laughs> like wait, rewind that. Oh, they go wow. forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, forward, backward. We need a good close working range. Oh, don't go further. Now that on. Now there's one more complicated part. Well, there's fucking more than that, but I'm gonna need my pliers for. The springs, the balls are being held in right there. New bearings right here from Napa. Oh yeah. Just this last bearing. 
That's it, guys. Just like that. Baby, I think you need a victory kiss first. Don't baby. What a smart Don't hubby I have. I'm so lucky. So push <coughs> these guys like this. These guys are rocked in. Let's see how hard it is to make sure that we can Ooh. It's hard to hold neutral, but it just needs oil, I think. So stay tuned for our next episode as we haul out the boat and give it a new bum. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, give us a thumbs up. Or if you did like it, hit the bell. <laughs> either way, up. either way, you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time.